Welcome to the TPT Podcast Sports Betting Show, where hosts Dustin and Grizzy put their money on the table for this week's best bets. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to week 18 of Best Bets. We are back for the last week of the NFL season, and I'm joined with my co-host back from his two-week hiatus, Dustin Clue. Dustin, how you doing, man? Welcome back, everybody. It's your favorite co-host. We are now back. I was busy the past couple weeks, but we are now back. I'm happy to be back with my buddy Grizzy, and we're going to be making you some money, okay? I, I didn't know if Jaden or Drew made you guys some money, but we're going to be making you some more money. Let's go. Uh, yeah, with that being said, uh, let's 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 see. Like, Dustin, what, what have you been up to the past couple weeks? You, you weren't here. You know, we've been missing you. What's What's been going on, man? Yeah, it's kind of MIA. You know, I I just I just bailed on you guys. I didn't want to do this anymore. No, no, I was I was out with family uh, during Christmas and New Year's Eve. You know, we watched the Packers lose or win against the Vikings. You know, like I was saying before, you know, off camera that if the Vikings are due for a blowout loss, and the Packers were the one to do it. And I told you that, and it, it came true. So, and then we watched the Lions oh. lose or win on Christmas. Um, I wish they lost, but yeah, they're going to lose this next weekend against the Vikings. We're going to blow them out. But yeah, other than that, how, how's uh, Grizzly Boy been? I've been all right. You know, actually sticking here, doing my job, being here every Thursday to record, unlike some people. But uh, yeah, other than that, I've had Drew one week and then I had Jaden one week. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just been, it's been, it's been, it's been, it's been tough without you, Dustin, because, you know, Drew, Jaden, Ooh, they suck at betting, but you, you, you suck a little less, I guess. But, uh, uh, guys, this week we are doing only three picks because, you know, most of the starters aren't playing week 18. So we only got three picks and then we got five games picked out for you guys that we're going to talk about. So, uh, Dustin, I think everyone wants to hear from you. So I might as well just start with your picks. Hold on, Dustin. I just got a call. Hello. What do you mean? Dustin's already 0 for 1 on picks. Oh, there's no David Singletary. It's Devin Singletary, you idiot. So you're technically already 0-1 on picks because there's no David Singletary. It's Devin Singletary. But uh, with my first pick, we're going to go to Arizona is where the game is being played, but I'm not taking anyone from Arizona. <laughs> I'm taking DK Metcalf over 68.5 receiving yards. DK had a huge game last week and a loss against the Steelers. Steelers have a pretty good defense, so I, I expect him to hit this with ease against a horrible Arizona Cardinals defense. Uh, you know, Geno Smith will be playing. You know, you still got Kenneth Walker. He'll probably get a lot of the, a lot of the, uh, you know, attention. You know, being a great running back, and then you know, obviously, you still got Tyler Lockett, and then you got Noah Fant. But uh, DK man, he's you know he's tall man. Big guy, you know, you got to give him the ball. Got to get the got to get the ball to your your best receiver, especially when a playoff uh, spot is on the line for the Seattle Seahawks. And with that being said, let's get to Dustin's second pick. All right, with my first pick. All right, after my two week hiatus, we're going with the Bill or not the Bills. He's actually pictured on the Bills, but he's on the Texans right now. David Singletary, the, the Houston Texans running back, all right? He's going to have higher than 80.5 Russian receiving yards uh, against the Indianapolis Colts. Now, the Colts, they're, I just don't see him as a good team. Um, I don't know what their playoff positioning is. I don't think they're really in the race at all. But um, David Singletary, right, He's he's had... 80 rushing yards against the Titans last week, you know, six receiving yards. So that's already over 80, you know, the previous week four, 44 rushing yards, 19 receiving, you know, that was close. And then against the Titans again, which I think the Titans are pretty close to the Colts defensively. Um, so yeah, I, I expect David Singletary to have a similar performance as he did against Tennessee and just kind of go off and it, it's going to be a mid bowl, but hopefully, um, CJ Stroud does really good because I, I think he'll win rookie of the year. I think he'll do really good against the uh, uh, the Colts. 
and th- I think they'll get a win. And I, it's on Saturday night, their first primetime game. So David Singletary, C.J. Stroud, they're just going to light up the Colts. All right, Dustin, it's glad to see that you got the person's name right this time. Uh, we're going over to one of Jaden's favorite players of all time, Baker Mayfield. Over 233.5 passing yards. Baker has killed this line in the past three weeks. Baker's out here about to take a Tampa Bay team to the playoffs. First time since a guy named Tom Brady did it um, last year. So it's been a, it's been a little while, just, just a little while. Uh, they're playing Carolina. Carolina's got nothing to play for. Um, Carolina's got nothing to play for. Tampa Bay's got the division on the line. So I think Baker Mayfield hits this with ease. You know, playing against a crappy, crappy Carolina Panthers defense. So, uh, yeah, Baker Mayfield's going to feast this game. I expect to see a lot of Rashad White, too. You know, Carolina's defense just cannot hold Baker Mayfield. But then we'll get to Dustin for his third and final pick. Oh, you're done. Okay, yeah, that kind of put me to sleep. Sorry. All right, George Pickens, all right, he's on the Pittsburgh Steelers, as we all know. You know, one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Too bad he has to play with, like, Mitchell Trubisky and Mason Rudolph and whoever the other guy is, Kenny Pickett off or something like that, whatever his name is. George Pickens, all right. I think this is kind of a steal. With three and a half receptions, I think he's going to go over that. I think he's going to have at least four, you know, maybe maybe six receptions in this game. All right, they're playing the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens are resting a lot of their starters and I I don't know, I just think this is going to be a great game for George Pickens whether uh whoever the quarterback is, I think it's going to be Mason Rudolph cuz Trubisky's hurt, I believe. So, yeah, he's going to go off against the Baltimore Ravens. That rivalry is one of the better rivalries in the NFL. And rightfully so, you know, Pickens on uh, Marlon Humphrey, I believe. Uh, So it's going to be great. It's going to be a great matchup. We're going to get four receptions at least out of George Pickens. And that's all we got to say about that one. Let's go over to Grizzly's pick. All right, guys, with my third and final pick, before we get to the five games we're going to talk about, I'm taking Jordan Love over 246.5 passing yards. Just like Baker Mayfield, he has a playoff spot on the line. Win and you're in. Uh, and, he's, he, you know, he's got to have a good game. You know, he had a great game against the Vikings defense that looked like Ed Donatel was running the defense. Uh, Chicago, pretty good against the run game. I almost took Aaron Jones over for the rushing yards, but Chicago has been really good. Uh, rushing the ball. I'm sorry, defending the rush. Uh, so Jordan Love, I'm going to have to take him for passing yards. All right, with my third and final pick, the one that will win you the most money, all right, because literally it will, right? We have a scorcher pick on underdog with Sam Laporta getting at least one rush or receiving touchdown against the Minnesota Vikings. I think, you know, with the Lions being at home, you know, Sam Laporta did nothing against the Vikings uh, the last go around. But I think this is where Sam Laporta shows up. You know, TJ Hawkinson kind of had the better game out of the two the last matchup. But Sam Laporta, he's been dominating at home as well. So, you know, I think this is also a freebie. Just get Sam Laporta the ball and he's going to score a touchdown. And he's just a touchdown machine. You know, one of the better tight ends in the NFL. Uh, you know, there, there's not a game where, you know, I've watched the Lions, you know, be at home and he's not scored a touchdown. So I think I think that's pretty easy. I think he'll get at least one touchdown uh, against the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going with the, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, that guy in the backfield rushing the ball. He's not that good. He's not better than Alexander Madison. But uh, with that being said, there are six picks for you guys to play with. Mix and match them as you wish. Make sure to put some money on that and, and then do the, the insurance. And uh, all right. Now, we still have not thought of a name for this, but we're going to just call it money. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to call it make me money money. So tell me if you're more confident in the money line or if you're more confident in the uh, – in the fuck in the oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank tell me if you're more confident in the favorite so uh I'm we're more gonna confident and actually speaking right now than you are i think i'm more confident in you shutting the hell up we got seattle favorited by 2.5 against the arizona cardinals dustin are you taking 
the spread, or are you taking the money line on one of these teams? So they, oh, if yeah, they beat I'm them... taking Seattle over on that. I think they'll they'll win at least by six or seven against the Cardinals. Basically, yeah, Seattle. I think this is a good favorite to pick the minus 2.5 i think they come out here you know the only reason the cardinals are really have a chance in this game is because they did just beat philly but uh seattle seahawks so i think you want to take seattle minus 2.5 here or you could always take the money line but i i much rather take the favorite all right dustin houston texans at the indianapolis colts houston is favorited 1.5 against the colts now, this is C.J. Stroud's first primetime game of the season, as I alluded to before. So I think this is C.J.'s uh, time to shine. Yeah, I think he's going to dominate the Colts. It, I, I'm going to take that money line on the uh, on the Texans. They're going over, what was their spread again? 1.5. Oh, yeah, that, that's going to be an easy win for the Texans. Uh, they're they're like I said before against um the other game that we picked. I, it's gonna be at least six points that they're gonna win by. Yeah, Dustin, I do agree with you. I think that the uh, Texans come in and they whoop that ass pretty good. Uh, all right, let's get our next one in here. Let's just let's Chicago Bears at the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, you know the Packers have the uh. You know, they have the win and end game. They are – the Bears are actually not favorited. The Packers are favorited by three. Normally the home team gets about three points. So, Dustin, uh, Packers minus three. You taking this or no? I, I, I'm going to take the Packers uh, winning this one. Um, it, it's at home too, like you said. The, the Packers just play really well at home. I think they dropped maybe one or two games this year at home against teams that they should have won – uh, as well so yeah i'm gonna take the packers money line on this one so let's let's go pack yeah dustin i agree with you i either you know i say they beat the they beat the bears by three or more I, I think that's you know they always do pretty good against the uh you know that team steelers at baltimore ravens so the baltimore is actually not favored in this game obviously you know a lot of their starters is gonna be out Pittsburgh Steelers at Baltimore Ravens. Uh, the Ravens are favored by four points. Dustin, who are you taking? All right, Steelers and Ravens. That That's one of the greatest rivalries in the NFL, like I alluded to before earlier in the video. I, I have the Ravens winning this one. I think it'll be a closer spread than and then what they have for the Steelers. I, th I think it's going to be the Ravens winning by three points. Yeah, they're resting their starters, but I, I think the Steelers are just a hot mess right now. And the St the Ravens' backups are a lot better than than the Raven or the Steelers are as as a full, healthy team. You know, they just have T.J. Watt, and that's about it. So, yeah, I, I'm taking the Ravens in this one, taking the spread. Yeah, Dustin, we got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Miami Dolphins in Miami. Uh, hey, stop that. Stop touching me. Uh, so we got, yeah, in Miami, and Buffalo is actually favorited, right? Stop that. Buffalo is favorited by three points against Miami. Dustin, who are you taking? I said stop it! Dustin, who are you taking? All right, this is going to be one of the better games um, of, of the week. As you said before, it's the game of the week. I, I think Buffalo is going to squeak this one out. It's going to be a close game. But I think I think Buffalo is going to cover the spread. I think it's going to be at least a four or five point game that the Bills win by. This is a win and end game uh, for the Bills. Uh, they, they might need some help too, you know, for seeding. Um, I'm not sure how that all will work. But, you know, Miami's already in the playoffs. They got really nothing to play for, maybe for seeding. But... I think the Bills, they, they got to play like their hair's on fire. They got to get into the playoffs. I think they'll be a fun team to watch. So I, I think they get the win over Miami. I agree with you, Dustin. Mm, do I? I don't know. I, I would take Miami the plus three, but I would not. I, I could see Buffalo winning this game by three, but would still be a win for, uh, for the uh, Dolphins on the parlay part of this. So, yeah, that's going to be our five games. And that'll do it for week 18 of Best Bets. Yes, guys, we got a hair reveal. Let's go, boys. 
Week 18, best bets in the books. All right, see you guys later. We love you. Use code TVF on Underdog for a $100 deposit, and you make money if you use code TVF. It's a, it's a proven fact.